Hello everyone and welcome back to Zen A Gay Sequel. If you're interested in playing the game yourself, I have links in the description as well as a link to the previous game or if you want to check out the LP that I did, check that out. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, subscribe! Turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. We would love to have you here. And let's continue. The yard is packed, which isn't surprising for a Friday night. We stand and wait for a table. Thanks for doing this with me, dude. You gave me too much credit, Chico. I told you. I'm just as happy to avoid the house tonight as you are. Well, anyways, thanks. We're eventually seated, and dinner is uneventful. I head back to Adam's room with him afterwards, not having any ideas of what to do. Sleep all that. Chris seems to be out, so the two of us hang out for a bit, and I take a nap on his bed while he does some homework. Eventually, I figure it's late enough, and I head back to my room. I walk to my room through a house filled with passed out people. It makes me a bit glad I missed the party. I get changed and head to bed, not looking forward to the mess that awaits me in the next. Ugh. Not looking forward to the mess that awaits me in the next day. I wake up early Saturday morning, wondering what I should do with the day. Then I remember there was a party last night, and that I should probably help clean the place up today. Or I can make myself scarce and find something else to do today. Or cleaning. Or I could find Adam and Crew. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so now we're gonna start cleaning downstairs. <laughs> I get changed and prepare myself for the mess that lies ahead. I head downstairs. Most people seem to be passed out or s ah. Most people seem to be passed out still from the party. I grab a trash can and start gathering up cans and cups. Adam shows up a couple hours later as I'm starting to clean some of the tables. Dude, this place is disgusting. You're telling me. Adam sighs. I guess I should get to cleaning. He grabs a sponge and begins wiping down some of the cleaner tables. We spend the rest of the morning cleaning the place with an increasing number of brothers joining in. Chef comes by with tomato juice and later some sandwiches as we work. I haven't seen Tom around. He's probably nursing a horrible hangover. Sometime in the afternoon, the house seems to mostly be presentable again, and smell distinctly less like old booze and vomit. Adam and I settled down at the table with some sodas. I could have gotten so much work done this morning instead of dealing with this mess. You didn't have to help, Chico. Adam just shrugs. I can't ditch all my frat responsibilities. So, uh, since the common room is clear now, want to see if Guitar Hero is open? I could do that. Um, uh, people are grumpy. We head into the common room. Tom and Steve are there. Steve seems to be giving Tom a lecture about something. Bro, come on. You have a problem. I'm trying to help. Tom looks over at me. Carlos, bro, tell Steve I don't drink too much. Steve shakes his head. This isn't a request, Tom. Steve looks over at me. I expect you to not drink this week and I expect Carlos to hold you to that. Tom makes a frustrated noise and storms out of the room. Steve sighs. Another thing I don't need to deal with. Sorry, just let me know if Tom tries to have any alcohol this week. Eh. Eh. I can't. Eh. Don't. Uh, it's hard for me to, like, install that. It's still wet. Put that in my brain. He walks out of the room. There's silence for a bit. A brother on the couch makes eye contact with me and shrugs. To be fair, Steve is right. Tom does usually drink a lot. I can only imagine what he was like last night. You shouldn't even be drinking. None of you should. So, uh, Guitar Hero looks free. We play Guitar Hero for a while until dinner's ready. Adam decides he's not up for dinner at the house and heads back to his room. I grab a plate of food and find an empty seat. A few minutes later, Though, one of the twins sits next to me and wraps her arm around mine. The other stands with a plate of food behind her. Mine? Yeah. Carlos, we've been missing you. Where were you last night? Sorry, is it okay if we join you? I... yeah, sure. Leia sits next to her sister and starts picking up the roast chicken. Don't... don't at me. I am a disaster through this whole thing and... <laughs> I met Lee! I swear to god, I'm gonna do better! Later, maybe. Hopefully, Jesus. Where's Adam? I've been dreaming of taking both of you at once. Maybe seeing if your dicks will. Ash, can we not do this right now? I just want to have dinner. 
Well, it's not my fault you still have a hangover from last night. Only because I had to deal with you all night and didn't get to drink enough water. Ashley tugs on my arm. Well, then Carlos and I are going to have sex without you. By all means. Come on, Carlos. Um, uh, I just want to eat right now. <laughs> Don't do this to me, Carlos. <laughs> Jesus effing Christ, what does that girl have to do to get laid around here? She storms off. Sorry about her, as usual. I can leave you to your meal. It's okay, I don't mind the company. I just... it's just been one of those days. Okay. We sit and eat together and talk a bit about her classes. See when the food is gone and she excuses herself. Thanks for the meal and conversation. I'll see you around. I head back to my room. Oh, wow. I sit on my computer and stare at my I am list. Uh, Chris, James, and Elliot all appear to be online. For some reason, thinking about Elliot makes me realize it's been a while since I found some... Uh, release! I could also take this opportunity to release some sexual tension. How is our libido doing? <laughs> uh, is it terrible? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, libido. Libido is weird. <laughs> I don't know, libido. <laughs> I've been wanting to talk to James, though. Okay, just this once. We're gonna talk to James. <laughs> I don't know, libido. It's weird for me as someone who doesn't really have much of a libido. <laughs> Uh, I'll talk to James. I've been meaning to do that, okay? My head shakes as I click on James' screen name and type into the window that appears. Hey, it's Carlos. We met at Q&A uh, Q last semester. Hi. Yes. Sorry for taking so long to message you. It's okay. I guess I could use some advice about being... My fingers hover over the keys, unable to type the word. This way. Want to talk? Isn't that what we're doing? In Q&A right now, not alone, can meet somewhere else. I look around, unsure whether it's a good idea to invite him over to the house. Oh god, I don't know. <laughs> Neutral ground? Because Carlos isn't like completely okay with being out, right? So the student center is neutral ground. Well, let's go to the student center, huh? The student center. How about the student center? In the atrium with the chairs. Okay. At least this will be more neutral ground. Not sure if I could do Q&A again, at least not yet, and it wouldn't be fair to ask him to come to me. I grab my coat and head out. I find an empty table in the atrium, which is fortunately not too busy. James shows up a few moments later. Oh god. I missed you! <laughs> He's still really attractive. He nods at me before taking a seat next to me. Hi. Hi. He nods, seemingly waiting for me to speak. This isn't much of a talk if I don't say anything. <laughs> so I... I guess I recently came out. But it was only to my best friend, Adam and Chris. And I guess, uh, Q&A people. One of my good friends, uh, last semester got beaten up by a homophobic asshole in my frat. Elliot? James's voice makes me jump for some reason. Yeah, did you know him? Know of him. Heard from Chris. Oh. Does that... Is Elliot... Get... Um... Does that mean he's... James just shrugs. Ask him. Right, of course. But Chris and everything made me feel like I'm not doing enough. Like if Elliot and I had a chance or something, I feel like I've blown it by being in the closet. And Chris, and you, and my friend Malik, you're all so... open. He stares at me for a bit friendly and nods again. You and Chris remind me of me, last year. You were scared too? Yes. That seems hard to believe now. He stares off into space. It took me a long time to accept myself. I could have passed as straight, after all I do like women. But that somehow felt like I would be denying a part of myself that mattered, and it took me a long time to come to terms with that. He smiles at me and it feels reassuring somehow. There is no right way to come out. There is no right way to be gay. Some people are like Dan. They don't care what anyone else thinks. I guess to a certain extent you have to be that way sometimes because the world isn't as, because the world isn't as accepting as it should be. But he lives his life that way and expects everyone else to, too. 
So come out in your own way at your own pace. Don't let anyone dictate how or where or when you do it. That's up to you. And don't blame yourself for the past. Don't feel like you're letting people down by not being as out as you think you should be. If people have a problem with that, that's on them. And I'm sorry about Elliot. My parents wouldn't approve. Ah, uh, that makes it harder. <clears throat> Gosh dang. You said you knew Malik. I would not have made the decisions he did in his position. I'm glad he did the right thing for him and he made it work, but it could have ended badly. Just like others shouldn't dictate when you come out, there is no shame in remaining closeted, including to family. Sometimes physical and financial well-being are more important. He shrugs. Not a good situation, though. Sorry you're in it. I nod and stare at my hands. Thanks. But sometimes family surprises you. Not that you should take a risk if you're not sure. An image of Elliot's pellets. Pe pellets. It's pellets. <laughs> An image of Elliot's parents looking at me and Adam disapprovingly flashes into my head and I shudder involuntarily. I don't think that'll happen in my case, but it's nice to think about. In time, they will understand. I hope so. And you have friends here who support you. Yeah. We sit there for a bit in silence. I'm not sure what else to say, but James doesn't seem like he has anything else for the moment. Thank you. You're welcome. Always happy to talk. Hope this helped. Should go, but Q&A Saturday morning if you want. <laughs> he starts going like shorter sentences once he's like, I got my point across. <laughs> he heads back to the Q&A room and I watch him go. Actually, that really did help me feel better about myself. Despite the cold, I walk around outside for a bit, collecting my thoughts before heading back to the house. By the time I get back to my room, it's late and I decide to head to bed. Sunday! Sunday! I wake up reasonably late on Sunday and head downstairs for breakfast. I see Tom sitting by himself at a table looking pretty unhappy. I grab some food and sit next to him. Hey dude. This is unfair, bro. I don't have a problem. <laughs> ah. Carlos's face is just like, <laughs> Adam slides into the seat next to me, surprising me. Drinking? I don't. Dude, you do drink a lot. Why are you all on my case, bro? I'm not the only one who drank at the party. You're just like Steve. He suddenly stands, picking up his still full plate. I don't need to be lectured, bro. Just leave me alone. He storms out of the room and Adam sighs. I really don't know how to deal with this, dude. It's not your responsibility to help Chico. I guess it's technically yours. I... yes. Let's just eat. The rest of the breakfast is pretty quiet. So, what are your plans for the day? Hit the gym, see if there are board games, see what Adam's up to, hang around the house. Uh, see what Adam's up to since he's here. What are you going to do? Probably just getting some work done. Why, want to join me? Sure, why not? Are we just gonna be like Team Adam the whole time? It's not even gonna be like a romantic thing, it's just like gonna be like bros. Friendship. <laughs> I need no romance. <laughs> Dude, are you serious? Not that I want to discourage this, but... Let's go before I change my line. <laughs> maybe being a- maybe bring a book or something. I quickly grab a book and follow Adam back to his room. You probably- you can probably use Chris's desk, although I don't know when he'll be back. I can just use your bed. Adam shrugs. If you can read like that, I guess. I make some room on Adam's bed and settle down with my textbook. A short while later, Chris walks in, notices me making some attempt at reading and looks at me with a funny expression. Don't look at me like that, Chris, please. <laughs> what? I study sometimes. <laughs> he nods and sits down at the desk, typing at his computer. Uh, I attempt to return to reading, but my curiosity gets the better of me. So, uh, how was breakfast? Chris looks over at me. It was fine. Ate with James. I love that bird. That sounds nice. The yard? He wants to make something. He, oh my god, he wanted to make something! Huh? You could come eat breakfast at the house sometimes, or you two spend a lot of time together. I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm 
No. Oh. Uh, what are we You two spend a lot of time together. Is this a jealousy-like option? Oh, forget it. We're gonna pick it. I guess. Dude, let him work. Right. Sorry. I managed to get it into reading, and by the time Adam stands and stretches, it's lunchtime. I'm going to grab some sandwiches. Chris Chris tosses his student idea at him who catches it. Roast beef. Got it. Carlos? Mm. I'm going to eat at the house, or you know what I like, Chico. We're avoiding the house, I guess. You know what I like, Chico. <laughs> Two roast beef and ham. Be back in a bit. So, Chris turns his chair and looks at me. His face. It's beautiful. <laughs> I start to ask him about him and James, but the words stick in my throat. How's classes? They're fine. There's a big theory class that's really different. But he goes on about his class, and most of it goes over my head, but he seems really interested in the subject material. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to go on like that. No, he's cool! Dude, it's great that you're enjoying your classes. He nods. How are things with you? We could stay together. Maybe that'd be some motivation. Adam is always on my case about not taking academics seriously. He nods. Adam reappears with some sandwiches and puts on duh, puts one down on Chris's desk and one in front of me on the bed. Thanks, Chico. He smiles at me and sits back on his desk. So, how was the studying? Need me to quiz you? I see. I tried to do a good thing and now you're going to torture me for it. <laughs> Adam laughs. I suppose that's fair. I hope you absorbed a lot of what you read though if you're not going to classes. I've been to a few. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. <laughs> do I have to go to more classes for you, Adam? <laughs> oh, we eat our sandwiches. I'd say that was a fun morning, but it really it wasn't. But I guess it was productive. I'm glad you joined us. I'm glad you joined us, dude. I should head back though. My brain is studied out and I need to do something fun. Chris nods. I'll catch you later, dude. I grab my coat and head back to the house. I walk into the common room. Some brothers are playing Guitar Hero. I join them and Adam walks in a while later. Welcome back, Chico. Come to join the fun. Uh, Chris and I were going to see a movie, so I came back to see if you wanted to join us. The boys, boys night, boys night. <laughs> Great, should we just meet you there, or I can be done with this. Let me grab my coat. It's just me and the boys all the time. <laughs> Chris is standing in front of the theater when we arrive, looking at the list of movies. Hey, dude, this looks looks familiar. I guess we were just here. Catch and release. Never heard of it. I don't know much about it, but it sounds like the most interesting thing on the list. Well, I can't say anything against it, so I guess we can try it. We buy our tickets and find seats. The theater is fairly full. Large popcorn and nachos. Anything else? No? I'm not getting you milk duds. <laughs> nachos sounds great, Chico. Thanks. Chris and I sit and watch this slideshow of ads on the screen. So, how's James? Or watch the ads. Why are we just trying to get a feel of like, are they together or not? What if this like backfires and like is he interested in James? What do we No, we're gonna know. So how's James? Oh, he's fine. Busy with rehearsal. Oh, he's fine. Busy with rehearsals again. Is he ever not busy? Chris shrugs. It's nice he has something he's passionate about, but he still manages to make time for you. I swear he blushes. I help him run lines sometimes. Well, it's nice. It's like how Adam is always buried in a textbook, but we still hang out. Don't let James get uh, don't let James get too into his work, though. Drag him out for some fresh air and a break to sometimes. Yeah, that's good advice. Adam soon returns with the food. <clears throat> he hands me a large tub of nachos. Oh my god, I really want some theater nachos, though. Thanks, dude. They were out of popcorn, so I just got a lot of nachos. I figured we should share them. Dude, how does the movie theater run out of popcorn? <laughs> I don't know. I asked if they were making more, but the concessions guy didn't know. Well, I'm in the middle, so I guess I'll just hold them. 
The movie soon starts. It ends up being some weird romance movie and I stop being able to follow the plot halfway through. <laughs> I end up falling asleep and Adam shakes me as the light comes back on. <laughs> oh, sorry. what I miss? <laughs> Not much, apparently. Gray found love. The kid wasn't his kid. Mo Moran? 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 I don't know names. Got the money? I don't know. Sorry I suggested that. Dude, we knew nothing about it either. It's fine. So why catch and release? They went fishing and stuff. I think it was supposed to be a metaphor. <laughs> Chris shrugs. Well, it's probably time for dinner anyway. Going in the house? Yeah, unless you want to grab something. Pizza? I should probably do some work. Pizza sounds good, or I think I'd get dinner at the house. We're avoiding the house. I'm committing to it. I'm committing to it! <laughs> Pizza sounds good. We'll see you later then, Chris. Adam and I head to the yard. The restaurant is crowded as is usual for a Sunday. We stand just inside the doors waiting for a table. I hear we're supposed to have some unusually warm days next week. Dude, does that mean we can go swimming? <laughs> You unusually warm is still like below 50s, dude. You're probably not going to want to do that. Dude, you're getting my hopes up. Carlos? I'm like a dumb. They're tiny babies. Hannah and Jake look like they just walked in. Oh, hey, Adam. Hey, it's nice to see you two. It's pizza night for everyone. It's pizza night for everyone. Well, at least for us. Nate and Nickel aren't joining? No. Jake and I haven't had food for ourselves in a while. By ourselves. I know how to read. Uh, I was going to ask if you want to join us, but that sounds fun too. Oh, uh, she looks at Jake. We can eat with them. If it's not too much trouble. Not at all. I'll be right back. Adam disappears in the direction of the hostess stand, but quickly re re reappears and waves us over. They were just calling me and I also happen to have a four-seater open. We're seated, and Jake and Hannah look over the menu. Pineapple jalapeno pizza. Oh, that sounds good. I'm intrigued. You should maybe get a salad or something too. We always just order pizza here. We place our order, and Jake adds in... In the order of spaghetti. It's supposed to be unusually warm next week. Chico, you've already disappointed me with that. <laughs> oh, that's sad. I was hoping for some more snow. I'm kind of ready for the snow to be over. I guess you grew up with it so it's somewhat less interesting for you? I didn't grow up with snow, but I still hate it. <laughs> it's weird how decisive snow can be. Uh, it's weird how de divisive snow can be sometimes. Like, nobody really dislikes summer weather, but snowy winters. Like, I, I freaking hate summer weather because it's just so hot and dry here. I hate it. And so, guys, it's not even summer and we're like in the 90s for most of the week. I hate it. <laughs> it's not usually that high. But snowy winters. I don't really like summer. Same, Jake. High five. Oh, I didn't mean nobody. Just <laughs> see blush. Well, good thing you're a CS major then. You got to study indoors in the air conditioning even once you're working. Yeah, I guess from that standpoint, winter doesn't matter too much either. Although, you still have to get around in it. The conversation moves on from there, and the food arrives soon after. Everyone except Jake finishes eating after a bit, and we sit and watch him polish off the rest of the pizza and pasta. He pauses while grabbing the last slice. Oh, I... were you saving some of this? Dude, enjoy it. It's always impressive watching you eat. <laughs> pizza doesn't really reheat well anyway. They always say cold pizza is typical college. Uh, they always say cold pizza is a typical college thing, but I don't really see the appeal of it. Not to mention the danger of consuming pizza that's been left out for a while. Jake finishes the food and we split the bill. Well, I'm glad we ran into you. Likewise. Probably time to head back to the house. I'll see you tomorrow, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I wish tomorrow wasn't Monday. Oh god, we got a plan. <laughs> Frick. <laughs> um. We'll stop here. Um, thank you everyone for joining me. If you're interested in playing the game yourself, links are in the description. Just so you know, this I am playing a beta version. Yeah, if there's like a few like bugs or something that I run into, you're probably not gonna run into them. You'll be fine. Uh, tell your friends! Share the love for this game, cause gosh dang it is great. I love it so much. 
definitely love being able to play as Carlos. And thank you to those patrons. Thank you, thank you so much for your support. If you're interested in getting early access to videos and exclusive access to other things, check out my Patreon. Links in the description. Hopefully I'll see you there, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye